Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we will go ahead and create another set of fields on the position object. So the fields that we're going to add would be job responsibilities means this is going to give you a complete description on what are the responsibilities that the position holds and what kind of skills are required. So this is going to be a multi-select because more than one skill would be needed to do the job. And then eventually if you come across any more skills that you want to add, you can keep adding it to this pick list value. Then the other one would be travel required. So uh, we will change this to basically is travel required and it's going to be a checkbox which will ask the user yes or no. Minimum pay, maximum pay, the currency fields would be there and then what kind of position it is. Is it a full-time position or it's a part-time position. So these are some of the new fields that we will be add and we will be adding them using the schema builder. You can choose the the regular option of adding the fields one by one if you want uh, but it has a lot more uh, questions to answer but whereas the schema builder one is much more quicker so we're going to go ahead and go over to the schema builder here and the next field that i want to add is the job responsibilities and it's a text area so i can instead of text area long i can go ahead and choose the uh, text area which is the rich text area so if you want to add uh, format the text you can do that as well so here I'm going to go ahead and choose the field type as rich text area and I'll call this as uh, job responsibilities so I'm going to go ahead and add this this is the uh, field name and then this is the default length visible lines if you want to change the number of visible lines you can change it and then hit the save button. So we have added another field here, um, but the field has not been automatically added to the page layout, which we have to do it manually. The next field that we're going to add is the skills required. So this is a multi-select pick list. So I'm going to choose the multi-select pick list option from the data type, and I'm gonna choose this, and I'm gonna say the field name is skills required. And uh, what are the values? So I can say values like, um, Apex, that's the programming language for Salesforce. Then we can say Salesforce CRM is another skill. And then here I can also choose uh, C Sharp. Then we can choose Java, JavaScript. Then we can say Microsoft Access or uh, we can say Microsoft Office. That is also required. Um, that's also one of the skill that we need. Um, then I think this is a good number to start with. So if you want to add more, you can keep adding here. Um, HTML, that's another thing that we need, HTML, CSS. So these are some of the skills that will be the options that we have given. It's a multi-select, so you can choose more than one options here and then hit the save. So this is the other set of field. Now the next field that we want to add is travel required. So it's a checkbox. So here I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to call it that is travel required. So here, either the default value, you can select it as checked or you can select it as unchecked. So I'm going to leave it as unchecked, hit the save. And then the next one is the min pay and the maximum pay. So there is going to be two currency fields. One is going to be the min pay and the other one's going to be the max pay. So the length maximum is going to be let's say seven digits that's going to be there uh, no decimal zero decimal places and then hit the save so that's going to be the minimum pay the maximum pay is also going to be we can say the maximum pay would be eight digits long so i'm going to choose the currency option and uh, this is going to be the max pay and let's say its maximum length is going to be eight and then hit the save button. So this is the maximum and min pay. And uh, now we can go ahead and uh, look for the type field, right? That's a, is it a full-time position or a part-time? And that's going to be a pick list. So here I'm going to choose the type and I'm gonna call it as full-time or this next option is part-time and then hit the save here. So these are the fields that I have added. So if you go over to the position object, you can see here under the fields and relationship, these are all the different fields that are there that I've added, but those fields are not automatically added. Um, even if you refresh the page just to get the latest, 
And uh, if I go ahead and hit the new, those fields that we added are not automatically added onto the page. So you have to go over to the layout. So under the object manager, there is a place for the page layout. So there is one page layout right now, which is the position. So you have to make sure that the fields are added to this layout. So let's see the, the compensation related fields. I want to add it in a new section called compensation. So what will I do here is I'm going to go ahead and drop this section. So just to make it more cleaner, I'm going to add a field called compensation details. Okay, so here this is the name of the section and it's going to be two column and hit OK. So now you can see here there's the compensation section has been created. And over to this section, I'm only going to add two fields. One is the min pay and the other one is the max pay. So you can see here, this is the field. Now, if you want to remove this field, then you can just click on this minus sign and then the field will get removed from the layout. And then if you want to make this field required from the page layout level, then you can choose the ranch next to that field. And there are either you can choose, uh, there are two options. You can make the field read only and also you can make the field required. So right now we don't want to do anything of that sort. So we will leave it as it is. And now here, these are the compensation details. Then we can create another section here related to skills. Okay, so uh, we can call it as skills. And uh, this is also a two column. You can change it to one column if you want. Click OK. And now here, the fields like job responsibilities, I'm going to add it here. Um, job responsibility, then the skills required, uh, I'm going to add it here. And then this is travel required. I'll just add it over, let's say over here in the section above. So these are the list of fields and now hit the save button. And now if you go over to the new, you will see a new section will be added. Let me refresh it. And now if I go over to the position object and uh, click on the new button, you will see these are the fields that we have added and let's say We'll go ahead and call this as a, just a field that will create Salesforce developer position. It's a new position. The open date for the position is today. So that's the open date and it's available in Dallas, Texas and hit the save button. Now you can see here, once you open up, once you've created the new record, these are the additional fields that uh, are available, compensation details, the skills. Now the skills, if you see, this was the, um, a multi-select pick list and this is how it looks like the multi-select pick list you can see here um, you can choose more than one values and you can move it over to the right hand side so these are the skills required then the job responsibility since it's a rich uh, uh, text field you can add you can format your text you can make things in bold italics and things of that nature so it's, you can make it more much more prettier using the rich text so these are the, uh, the fields that we have created for the position object. Okay, so you can see here we have created a new section. So this is the compensation details. Then this is another section that we added called skills. And uh, these are the uh, two fields that we have added. And so now you can go ahead and see the related tab here and the details. So we have added complete list of fields for our position object.